Hey friends, this is Sketch Dirt and I'm Marla and today we are drawing a diamond. Um, I am using 2B, 4B, and 6B pencils and I'm drawing on an 11 by 14 inch sheet of paper and each square is 3 by 3 inches and then the square is further divided out so that there's four squares in the middle. Um, I found that this was a lot easier than using a ruler. I would recommend this method. Uh, the ruler, it only gives you straight lines. It doesn't necessarily help more with getting things like placed exactly in terms of like the the parts of the diamond centered um, and if you want to do something just really quick I found that this is the the quickest way to do it without a lot of hassle I've also decided to draw the three like three different views of the diamond so like um, right now I'm working on the three-quarter view and then we have the half side view and then we have a top view and I did not know which view people would want to draw the most and I just felt like these would it would be more helpful to have the three views than to just do one so that's why the video is so long but really it's going to be a lot more helpful than if I just drew one view because you're going to be able to see the similarities uh, that all of these views have so that you can um, draw it successfully. Also, I've chosen to draw an eight-sided diamond. I found that like, if you look at my little example diamonds, they have a lot more facets than that. And it was really complicated and not necessarily successful to try to get all those facets in. And this method that I'm going to show you, I think has um, a lot of impact, but it's not going to take you forever to do. I think it's it's a much simpler way uh, to draw a diamond, but still get that impact of like a bunch of facets and the light shining through. So right now, what I'm doing is I've drawn out the basic shapes and I'm just drawing in the edges to get that those eight sides and when you do this make sure that your lines aren't necessarily um, that they're segments of the lines the best way to say that is like you're not necessarily connecting all the corners together um, you're just giving the impression that the corners are touching to get the whole shape and the reason why I say this is because like to get that really clear faceted effect you don't want to have hard connected lines that all meet together or else you're gonna you're gonna lose the dimension that you need so right now what I'm doing is I am starting to shade in the top portion and basically what I've done is this part right here will be the darkest part of the shading and keep in mind when you're shading again just like the lines do not shade all the way to the edge I, I recommend just shade um, up till the edge like to where there's like a little bit of white showing at the still showing through you're not shading the whole thing and again it has to do with how the light shines through and giving this um, giving these shapes dimension as opposed to making them look like just flat solid pieces you're really shading um, to make it look like light basically as opposed to like a uh, really defining the sides and what you want to do is after you get the darkest part of the diamond shaded the part directly opposite will be the lightest so that way that's where the light source is and then in that middle part you want to right above the lightest part you want to shade that part the darkest that that part on the top is where um, you see through to the bottom and now I'm doing the, I've already gotten started on the side of the diamond, just the, the profile view. And again, this uses the same principle as the top view, where you're going to pick one side and this shading is the darkest part of it. And you're not shading the whole side, you're, you're gradating out. So that way it, it goes from uh, darkest to lightest. And then the side directly opposite, this part's going to be the lightest. And this is, again, is where the light is shining through and this is going to help give you um, that dimension and when you're doing this feel free to like to like emphasize 
pieces of the edges. You don't want to draw like solid lines all the way around. You just want to use the line segments um, with your drawing. And now with the three quarter view, I'm combining the principles from the first two shapes and basically um, taking the top part and not shading it in all the way, just grading out. And then for the sides, picking that darkest portion and shading that in and then keeping the side directly opposite to it really light because that's where, that's where the light source is. And this is gonna help give you that, uh, give you that dimension. And so this is what we're doing here is we're just, we're not even, if your strokes are a little messy, they're not going in the same direction, that's okay because um, we're gonna pick, we're layering in uh, the, 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 um, the shadows and the light. We're gonna, that's why we have three different pencils here because um, we're just gonna layer it in uh, bit by bit so that way one pencil shade isn't doing all the work because again you're trying to build up um, the depth and make it look like the light is shining in. So I've picked up the 4B pencil now uh, emphasizing the lines. I'm not um, drawing really solid lines that are connected at the corners and I'm emphasizing that those darkest parts um, of the diamond uh, to get that kind of impression of the facets and and um, light shining through and this is just this is a really basic way to do this as you can see when you look at the references this isn't the exact uh, way to do this this is a very quick sketch way to do that this to get the same to get a similar effect and to get that impact but without trying to figure out how to segment all the facets out and and really spend all day with it like these three shapes took me about I would say um, 20 30 minutes to draw and really most of the drawing and most of that time was really just kind of um, using my best judgment to decide where to put these uh, pat these dark patches to give that reflection and that's the part where um, as I say in all my videos, you're bringing in your um, unique individual like input on this and you're going to put your own spin on this so that way it's uh, unique to you. It is a bit tougher with diamonds though because um, if you veer too far off, it doesn't look like a diamond anymore. So that's what makes drawing these pretty difficult is because it's like a, it's a very solid defined shape um, with like the mathematical sides, but then also it's clear and lights involved and it, it kind of doesn't, um, when it's at its best, it doesn't necessarily look like the shape it is because of all the facets and the, and the kind of the, um, reflection that that's given off. So now I'm starting on the side view and basically if you look at what I'm doing here, this di real diamonds do not just meet at a straight line at the edge there. They it um it's another set of facets that kind of curve. I believe it's uh concave. There's concave curves that kind of um go kind of bend inward and if you add this little element again that's what is gonna add to the realism of your drawing without really um, doing much it's just a little thing and all these little things like leaving uh, not necessarily shading to the edge gradating out picking key spots to leave um, shade really dark and key uh, key parts to shade really late um, this is what's going to give that impact without um, spending all day on it and that's really what you want I'm assuming if you're drawing this it's kind of like a, a quick sketch um, or something that you need and uh, not necessarily the uh, absolutely correct um, view of a diamond and so I'm shading in more of that here and again uh, giving some definition to those edges so that you get the impression of where they are as opposed to just exact um, strong lines for this. 
and now I'm doing the three quarter view. And once again, just like I said, you're taking the elements from the previous two diamonds, the top view and the side view, and you're adding them to make uh, this view right here. And you're not necessarily shading the whole top, but unlike the top view, you can't see through this the same way that you do with the top view. So you're kind of just giving that impression that the light's shining through, but you're not necessarily seeing any facets reflected through, or at least in this version. There, depending on the way you draw it, you might you might choose to show that. But this, I wanted this the way I'm showing it here. I wanted it to be a very simplified, um, easy version for people to be able to draw. Because this view, the three quarter view, is probably the toughest one to draw and the toughest one to get correct because of that that top portion and getting that um, the top part of the diamond correct. And I would recommend when you do that, just draw an oval, just draw like a squished circle. Don't necessarily try to get exact facets in. And then when you're drawing in those little line segments, that's when you're putting in like the straighter lines and you're just putting in the pieces to give that impression. And that is really what's gonna um, make it a lot easier for you as opposed to trying to draw like this flattened eight-sided uh, piece. And now I am going in with the 6B pencil and I'm being very, very uh, delicate with this and putting it in, putting the shading in very, very, um, in, in little bits. This is meant to add depth and just kind of further, further uh, define edges and then the darkest areas to help highlight the lightest areas of the diamond and help give that really shiny dimension to the piece. Um, not going over this with a lot of a lot of that pencil it's just to help give impact and that's that's about it i hope that this was helpful um i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching if you have any ideas or if you have any comments definitely uh leave them in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and this is sketch dirt and i'm marla thank you so much bye